guys, it's your girl, Matt Cox with MA Couture Crafting, and I just wanted to have a quick chat with you. I saw the most interesting post the other day, and I was like, wait, what? What are you talking about? And then I realized after reading the comments that this is a whole topic, and it's a whole world, and people have very strong feelings about that. I just finished shooting an intro talking about pillowcases. I am insane when it comes to pillowcases because, you know, I'm insane about things. But I believe that the opening of the pillowcase should be toward the outside of the bed. And so when you're using directional fabric, there's a way that you do it when you're making your pillowcases so that you can get it to look right when you're making your pillowcases. I talk about that in the video. But something that came up was how do you make up your bed? Like, where do you use the quilts? And the woman was asking, do you need to use a sheet? Do you put the pick, you know, do you put the quilts under a duvet cover? Did you make your own duvet cover? How do you make up your bed? And I was thinking, doesn't everybody make it up the same? Apparently not. So I figured I'd tell you guys how I make up my bed. I am very particular about sheets. Once you go uh, up to a higher thread count, you're not going back down. So if you don't want to end up spending a gazillion dollars on sheets, don't try Egyptian cottons. Do not try a gazillion thread count because it's like a whole nother experience. So yes, I use the highest thread count my money can afford at that time. I try to get the best sheets. I just found out that I can make pillowcases. You guys should be concerned because now that's all I'm going to want to do is make pillowcases. This is going to be the pillowcase channel. Pillowcase for every occasion. So I will probably start to do that. And because I'm using higher quality fabric, I'm not using um, big box store fabric. I try to get, it, it feels a little different. And matter of fact, um, like k Facet even has like the sateen, the, uh, the quilt backing, which just feels so luxurious. So we've got that. But I use sheets and then on top of my sheets, so I've got the fitted sheet. I didn't know people didn't do fitted sheets. What? So I've got a fitted sheet on my bed mattress. Then I've got a sheet on top. Then I have a quilt. Now, this is not one of my Disney quilts. This is not even a quilt that I made. You guys have seen all the quilts that I've made. What quilt would be on my bed, <laughs> right? I have not made a, belt, a bed quilt yet. I have a pattern that I purchased like two or three years ago, and that's going to be our bed quilt. Um, one that we can just throw on that I'm really not oh so concerned about. One that can be washed continuously. I'm really going to make sure that that can hold up to a ton of washings and whatnot because I don't own that yet. But I do have one that was made for uh, the family by my aunts that's on there. So I have that quilt. Then right now I have another quilt and then we have our comforter. In the future, I would like to have a sheet, a blanket, a quilt, and then my comforter. And then when I get really snazzy and I make a beautiful quilt that I'd like to just be displayed, I would do my sheet, a blanket, and then my beautiful quilt that is just displayed for everyone to see. So I've heard other people who do um, like have comforters, but they put their quilts at the bottom folded up. Those might be the quilts that you don't want to wash continuously. Yes, you should put a sheet between you. I mean, it just depends. I shouldn't say you should. You do what you want to do. But a sheet helps to keep your, your stuff from getting soiled so quickly so that you don't have to wash it as frequently. But I heard about bed scarves. I can't wait till I make my first, <clears throat> excuse me, I can't wait till I make my first bed scarf. That will probably be my obsession. Pillowcases, bed scarves. I just like a really beautifully dressed bed. Currently where we are, and my husband, I just, he, he doesn't get it. I used to have the most beautiful bed set up prior to getting married. I mean, it was gorgeous. I want to say it was about 20 pillows. The pillows came all the way out, almost to the foot of the bed. That has since super changed, which is why I'm going to do to my husband what I said I was going to do in the video before this. You guys know. <laughs> He just ruined my whole pillow life. But anyway, uh, we're going to get back to that at some point. But all that to say, I want to know how you guys dress your bed. How do you guys put your sheets together? Do you have a very special way that you make a quilt that goes on the top? Like, 
How do you guys make your quilt super heavy? There are people who were talking about how they like to have a ton of weight on them. I purchased one of those uh, 40 pound blankets. My husband calls it a bulletproof blanket. He does not like it on the bed. We no longer use it. I need to gift that to somebody because it was truly heavy. <laughs> I know you're like, what? You guys, the blanket, I couldn't, and I mean, I just, I was like, whoa, so it's a lot. That is a heavy blanket. I might not suggest starting out with the 40 pound one, maybe the 20 pound because it is heavy and I didn't enjoy it in the way that I thought I was. No. Um, I also have body pillows that I like on the bed and I'd like to do some pillowcases for body pillows and figure out how that's gonna work. But if you haven't done so already, please check out the video for my sexy pillowcases which shows how to use directional fabric. Or if you just wanna see me put together a pillow really quick, check out my Valentine's Day three yard quilt, lickety split. At the end of that video, it has a matching king size pillowcase, which is huge. But yeah, please in the comment section, let me know how you dress your bed. How do you think that beds should be made up? Because people have very strong feelings about the way that they put their sheets on and their pillows and things. And I just wanna know what you guys are out there doing. All right, I'll talk to you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.